Yo, my name is Gaze Baba, and this is Black Flame. And um, and I have here for this episode two two of my brothers, two of my friends, two of my <laughs> I won't say fellow ministers, but I don't know. I mean, fellow ministers, if you consider me a minister. <laughs> Fellow musicians, sure, nobody can disagree with that one. At least they will agree they are musicians, you know. Um, I got Nosa, um, and I have I David. Chris. Um, this this might actually be weird to some of you, because I'd not put minister in front of their names, but that's who they are. This is David, <laughs> and this is Nosa. Um, <laughs> so so my friend calm down with the celebration of grace so in the the previous episode um that we titled why church music is limited i started by explaining why i have the grounds to talk about it so the same way i did that i, I want to do that for both of them as well um I became a professional artist in 2010, but I'd been performing as gays. I, I, I see it as like my amateur years since 2004. So I would say I had six to seven years of, six to seven amateur years, right? Where I was performing in churches, you know, but those years sometimes I'll do audition, get a chance to sing here and there. So I, I also want them to kind of like touch shortly on, you know, the span of time that he spent in the industry. Uh, let's go alphabetically. D first. <laughs> that was easy. All right. It's really great to be on uh, Black Flame. Um, my early years, I think I started, well, this is apart from, of course, church singing, children's church and dancing, creative Joyful with white gloves, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, apart from that time, I started singing with my friends in 1999. We started a group called The Baby's Heart. And we had a lot of, we had our fair share of, um, you know. Who were the guys in that group? Uh, well, popularly, P.I.T. Peter. Peter was, was in that group? Yes, it was in, in the was group. Was it a gospel group? Uh, uh, Abba. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it was a gospel group. We just preached about, you know, humility. And getting to know God. <clears throat> Humility. Yeah, that was and our core message. I, I, what, I, what, are you trying to say something? <laughs> he has said it. Oh, he said it. I missed it. Mm. I assume we missed it. Okay. <laughs> so, of course, Peter, my brother, we had um, Ugo, Okeze, Patrick. We're just six of us. And we did a lot around Nigeria at that time. Uh, fast forward, in 2006, we recorded an album. Um, by 2008, I started sensing the call to, you know, do what I do today, even though I didn't have the full picture of that. So, but yeah, we started, I recorded my first album actually in 2008. But you had recorded an album with the group in 2006. Yes. Wowza. Yes. Right. Uh, Minister Nosa. <laughs> my name is Nosa. <laughs> Minister is in between brother and reggae. pastor. <laughs> Minister is in between brother and pastor. We can't call pastor, you brother. We can't call you pastor. pastor but so yeah. because it's, it's more anointing. It's more anointing. It's more anointing. No, sir. So, um, I started professionally in 2009. I had been doing some moving around as brother Nusa definitely you know ah, this guy can sing please come to our church and come and sing we have christmas carol and all but and even then when i was doing song i was my the picture of what i wanted to do was maybe just lead my choir in very nice original songs it wasn't like a professional thing then later i said you know what let's make gospel or christian music relatable let people know that you can be a christian and and do music you know that appeals to everyone so that that's what one of the things that drove me to say okay let me present gospel music in a way that people will see and say yes i don't need to leave church because people were leaving church then to pursue careers so it was a real 
you know, motivation for me to say, okay, let's show that you can, you can do this and be a Christian and bless the world. So that's what one of the strong motivations for, for me having a, you know, a, a career in this direction. So it wasn't like the father called you? From, if you, if you have a walk with God, the father has already called you. Mm. Yeah, he has called you to be a good human being, uh, the best husband, the best employee, the best student, the best teacher, the best individual you can be. You know, so so um, without being told, there is there is the there should be a responsibility to want to represent Christ at any level. So that was my own. Let me represent Christ. I saw young people doing stuff i said well, you can't be a christian and be cool then i would be going to church the my peers would be laughing at me they'll call me a ah, pastor you don't they go again ah those who are church girls now they find past that kind of thing and i'll still be going i didn't know that god was convicting somebody through my commitment to him mm. you know and he comes meet me this is a very terrible guy meets me on campus somebody used to be there used to be a serious cultist he meets me on campus he says ah bro i don't give my life to christ though so and you and so so and so person were the 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 reason you were a strong inspiration to me you mm -hmm. made me realize so yeah that's you get up and as a child of god you want to make impact you anyhow you can you know, so that's one of the things that drove me to, you know, being going professional. You know? Right. So you went professional in 2009. Yeah. Yeah. 2009. When I released Always Pray When you me. released Always Pray For Me. Officially, yes. And uh, you went professional 2008? Well, I recorded that's 2008. You. That's but David the, Kennel, yes, not Baby's Heart. My, my, yeah, David Kennel. My, I recorded 2008, but the album came out in 2009. So most people actually began to relate with me in 2009, actually. So, so 2008, 2009, 2008, 2009. Yeah. Because if you released... I, I started released... recording in 2006. Started writing and recording 2006. Then I released... Um, so what I'm, trying, what I'm trying to establish is the, is the track record yes. on okay. board. Like, these are... So the, if 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 we look at 2008 2009 mm. to today that's about 16 15, 16 ish years, ish years. and yeah. that's minus baby's heart minus baby's heart and I also worked with certain artists who oh, come there so when you're working with those artists was it yes. before baby's heart it was with baby's heart that same period of time okay no so we have to count those years cuz I, I you know this this is me now a bit jumping the gun but David played the piano, the keyboard. <laughs> no, because the people where you they play for, we know we call a piano. <laughs> keyboard. <laughs> In a keyboard. It's interesting. So he played for rooftop yeah, MCs. Yeah, for rooftop MCs. He had to hit my head like a conga slap. I played for Buki, many a shout out. To yeah, I, if, if you don't know those people, we are coming to you. <laughs> we will explain who they are. Yes. People like uh, Mojola. Yes, Don't worry, you know, we're coming. Yes, you know, and then I sang for Shegun Bay for like five years. In fact, all the 2008, 2009 we are calling is shocking from <laughs> people here. Yeah. Some people are trembling like what? Yeah, Where but, was but, people but, were alive at that time? Alive in 2008. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering like, was I born at that time? <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so let's just speak, say like 2005. Let's just speak 2005 because yes. you yes. were already into music yes. by that time. Yeah. I was already into music by that yeah. time because I started 2004, but then went professional 2010. Yeah, you start your own save in 1999. Yo, <laughs> yo, <How old> are you? <laughs> you know, I'm like, yo, no, 1999. Man. I was in KC, at least me too. I can feel like, man, I was in KC, man. I was in Jesus, three years is one day, man. Anyway. So if we, if we pick 2005 as like a median year okay. for all three of us, 2005 to today's how many years? 2015, 19, 2025. 19, no, no, sorry. Wait. 2005. 19 years. It's 19 years. So, so roughly, each of us has been in the industry for two decades. Wow. That means seated right here, 
having this conversation is 60 years experience. Mm. That's what that means. So you are, top, you are cool. listening or watching wherever, whatever platform you are on, you are listening or watching 60 years worth of experience right now. I just wanted to establish that so that you know that these are not 60 or 20 because you put them together. No, it's just 20, no, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 years. Your worth experiences are your experiences. Different, different, my experiences different. are my experiences. His experiences are his experiences. The, the, the worth of the experience that we are dishing right now is 60 years. Mm, and then book. and then we transcended different eras I, I the eras oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they blew my mind already <laughs> now oh my god let, let me also give you some background nosa nosa was signed chocolate city you might know some of you might not know was signed chocolate city chocolate city the same label that had mi Ice springs. Uh, um, uh, young. John. No, don't come to the okay. okay. generation. Okay. Ice springs. Brian Moore. Brian Moore. Um, Jeremiah Gang, Jeremiah Gang, Gang was, was the first, first artist. Yeah. On Chocolate City. M I was Jeremiah Gang's P. Y'all don't know Jeremiah Gang though. You should know Jeremiah look surprised. <laughs> Even if we sing this song. He might it says, we song. love you, we love you. you know what I mean? It might ring a bell. He cannot know it. I, I assure you, he does not know what that. What is song. bell? Ring bell? You don't ring bell. Like, is it a tone? Is it like a ring tone? Color tone? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? Alana Bakazuchi, Alana Bakazuchi. Monique Hey. Hey. All right, so. Do you know it? So he, he. No, no, no. Why? Come OG. On. OG. <laughs> IK is an OG in his own right. It is an O. There's no G. Okay, o, yeah. O oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so, no, so I was signed Chocolate City. So, at the time, I mean, man. <laughs> Do you know what okay, my mind is how I want to keep this within an hour? <laughs> so, Nosa was on this side. And I'm jumping gun. But Nosa was on this side. You know, if you've watched the last episode, you understand what I'm saying. This is what you have right here is a balance. David is a worship leader. That's the best way to describe him. He leads people in worship, right? He has, but he's not just a singer. He's a tutor. He understands systems and he has actually written a book titled The Music Code of God. Should be I really hope it should be re-released it should be re-released no. i really yeah. hope I, I'm, I'm sure my editors will make it happen so just flip it hmm. it's called the music code of god you should read it i've read it all right that uh, i read you know we read do we read <laughs> it's called the music code of god so I, I i knew that he needed to be here nosa has transcended species nosa has been in the field has been in the garden is now inside the temple <laughs> for like six to seven years i've been begging him to come back outside I'm he has outside. refused to co come back live there you you turn oh. <laughs> no 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 go forest no is not in the, no sir was never in the forest he was forest never in the forest he did no sir was garden Gone. fields Gone. like i was <clears throat> and still am like henry so was and still is like protect was and still is like on was but mm -hmm. she's gone inside as well i'll mm -hmm. get to that cold so she went inside right so all of that but i just wanted to give that like okay you know background so we so you know who you are listening to so we begin i start with a story because i said i was going to start with the yeah, story awesome. and i didn't tell you what the story was i didn't <laughs> tell you what the story was but in 2015 I like when I called here. Yeah. <laughs> so in 2015, Nicky Laoi was releasing an album. Nicky Laoi, veteran, performed that experience, released they albums, released massive. Shout out to Nicky Laoi. Nicky Laoi was releasing an album and she was releasing it at a place called Fab Lounge. It was in GRE. Around our do 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 aside, it's called Fab Lounge, owned by I know the person. But and then different people were 
of course, industry events, the gospel heads are there. For some reason, I was outside. I mean, I was just, this was January 2015, so I was two months married. Right, let's just put that out there, you know. Okay. So I was outside the hall, and I was with two people who were three. It was myself, Proverbs, and Onos. You remember Proverbs? Definitely. You, Proverbs? Oh, Proverbs? Yeah, yeah, right now. Proverbs is a rapper of rappers. Yes. He's right? A <laughs> he's a daddy now. He's, he's, he's primarily into photography now. Yeah. Right? But I'm, I'm Proverbs old passed me for this industry. Mm. You know, Proverbs, I think Peter old passed me too. O obviously, you old passed me. <laughs> Guy, just pass me what so we're outside and we're discussing something. So our gist just entered a particular thing. And that was what you. In Yoruba, they'll say omenuba. That's you carry mouth and touch it mm. at a point. When you're talking about how there was a time where we could not have known that a time will come that people who lead worship will be as big as they are now. Yeah. This was the mid-2000s, late 2000s, into like 2010, 2011, 2012. Now, the leading voices in Christian music were not worship leaders. They were urban guys. There was actually a time. Yeah. And it's not like 40 years ago. It's, so, it's such a recent history. This is 2008, 2009, 2010, 2006, when your leading, the leading voices in Christian music were Buki, Rooftop MCs, Midnight Crew, Infinity, Dekunle Fuji, those were the, those were the zenith mm -hmm. of Christian music. Yeah. At the same time, the worship leaders who lead today were in various churches. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Seven. Pastor Nat was in um, City of David. City of David. Yeah. Sinatra was in Christ Embassy, um, Bukola Beke's Redeem. Call call anybody. There was a time Johnson was in Koza in Abuja. Um, Joe Priest, Christ Embassy, Frank Edwards was playing keyboard for Joe Priest. Mm -hmm. And Sinatch. Yeah. And Sinatch. Um, so th this was the structure at the time. Yeah. Right? So <laughs> we were the in quotes, let me use Taiwo, Taiwo is a foremost, uh, Taiwo Ademi, that's his son in Mavi, is a foremost um, talent manager in the mainstream, in film. He has this, this platform he called Next to Blue. Oh. So we were like the Next to Blue, mm. in quotes. So you had me, Henry So, Proverbs, Peter, in a way, even though Peter was blowing, <laughs> you know, who were those were like the the guys who were there and were looking up to them were next right now in 2011 there was a shift that happened 2011 2012 i used to say it was 2013 mm -hmm. but in a conversation i was in with ty Bello last year she she actually because she's been around yeah. me much longer it was 2011. So, she, so she pointed out to me that it was actually that that shift happened in 2011 not 2013 like i thought what was mm. the shift there was a shift from urban to temple now in my own understanding in my own looking back and analyzing the situation i told i have told many of my guys in my space that that shift was not man that did it, it was god thank you mm. it was god it was too cross it was too how do i put it it cut across so yeah, it much was so it, it that was it was so in holistic it, it was, was holistic broad. it was complete yeah it was the, same, the same move happened in the mainstream music scene where people were tending towards rap from idris to rugged man and people were looking at my then terry g came and started make terry g and timaya terry g and timaya and, and, and just changed now for what you are describing was frank edwards that brought that 
sound of worship but one of one of the people he was no yeah he yeah. was at the forefront he was one of the people one of the people that really like brought it to main where young people were singing i see him standing by the door in the university i i, I could i noticed frank did more like a, he, frank did more like a fusion it was a fusion, was fusion but then, a but then that then began to come in from about 2008 because th hmm. that was about when Pastor Nathaniel released uh, Someone's knocking at your name door. in the book of life and it was a new sound mm -hmm. it, but was, it, it, had, it, it hadn't spread too. that what time. year was that album the album was between 2009 and 2009 yeah it was 2009 10. 10. because i remember there was a compilation album that dj gosperella did in 2010 2011. movie song mm. movie song my song was track one on that compilation in 2010 2011 i can't remember which particular year dj gosh will remember and someone's knocking at the door was on the compilation okay. that was where i heard it then i attended somewhere and i got the album so i was listening i actually heard that i had and that, that was album. what yeah because either that must 11, have been 2011 11 because i that's we released the album yeah, so, so it was really 2011. Yeah. now you see this whole period coincided with Boko Haram in my own not this is not like God told me but I look on from the body of Christ needed that shift that shift oh at yeah, that time you are, you are getting somewhere that is very hidden in my stomach but just go on. The, the body of Christ needed that shift so mm. there was a there was a drive towards uh, um um more temple sounds right but at the core of this shift i still say was god god made this shift now yeah. i can get into what i what i now understand as what god was like fashioning and yeah. if you notice within the last one to two years urban is popping back but urban is then popping back to replace temple mm -hmm. temple has come to stay and it is where it is urban is now going to rise and the way it is i really open. appreciate that inside this inside because we need to help people understand you know the place that right. each of them carry you see urban was within the temple mm. mm -hmm. so this whole afro sound the progenitors i call them progenitors or the ancestors they're not that old but in my understanding of deuteronomy 31 verse 7 they are th those ancestors so the bookie the rooftop the ty the all those guys right we're doing afro and urban within the temple this is your understanding i've gotten over the years mm -hmm. post god did not intend for that sound to be within the temple mm. god intended for these guys who do this thing to be outside mm. to be cooked in the temple but functioning outside connected within the temple pastored and guided within the temple but functioning outside but they were inside so what god did was he scattered the sheep now i've never said it like that before but he just came mm -hmm. he scattered the sheep so kunle rooftop went to uk bookie went to us dekunle went to us um Antilara went to the us like all of them just left now in 2015 when myself proverbs and on us on no. us we're having this conversation we were actually analyzing the situation because we had seen that that shift has, that that shift was coming of age it was clear yeah with i'm all this thing they have for, right mm. Mm. and the people who were like our predecessors were dissipating and there was nothing to look up to yeah and there was no structure to build on mm. yeah. right and mm. we came to the conclusion within ourselves that there were three options you either switch or pivot and start making temple wow wow or you leave music and go and do something else oh god this is this, this is really thing. see or uh, if you show you mm. see that this thing mm. the, you died you, wait, you died there yeah. we were three mm. we discussed this so you, and this was and and still, the, we each did one of those three the one person moved <laughs> So right. you see, 2009, so when I released, I, I released a pure worship album. It was 
that album will, will soak you in, draw you in. Worship is wide one. When worship I is that, wide. I got worship is wide. Wide is what I do every what day. What I do every worship time. Worship is yes. what I do every day. Every time. Every time. Every time. Like, you know, every day. Because if you do every day, you can just do one hour then. <laughs> <laughs> every time. So I remember, and I'm not going to mention this, but I remember that I got I got a message from two of our guys. I'm talking about top gospel guys today. Right. right? One of them has relocated. The other is still here. And that's, songs a, that's, are a, everywhere. that's a clue. That's a clue. So I got <laughs> so I got a message from two of our guys saying, Wow, David, we just listened to your album. This is incredible. And they said in in different words, but this the same thing. They said, We cannot do what you are doing. But please, we need more of this. Please keep doing it. The people I'm talking about. What year about, was this? This was about 2009 ish. Wow. 2009, 2010. I saved those messages for a while because shortly after I got that message and then this whole thing started happening, um, I noticed, you know, that people started bending from what they they were known to do and started doing worship. Right. The same thing you said that, man, we can't do this thing, you know, but this is really deep, right? <laughs> it. And, and it just went that way. You know, like I said, I don't want to mention it, but you get what I'm saying. So, so this is what, this is what I... Mm. This is how I think. If you listen to my music, I produce all my songs that I released. So if you listen, you might get confused at some point. Like, what genre of music is this? I'm enjoying it, but what genre is this? Mm. Because I pick elements. I, 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 I used to tell myself that the real judge is your ears and your soul. Mm. What you are hearing and what you are feeling, that's the real judge of the music. I'm not going to, I can put a trumpet on a rock song if that's what mm. I'm hearing in my head. Thank you. I can put a violin inside Bedu, talking drum and violins. If that's what, if that's, don't, don't steal this idea, please. I see you in heaven. <laughs> no, don't take my idea. Hey guys, I, I got there like first, the okay? <laughs> that's my camera right there, right? I got there first. Anybody that do it, I call it real. <laughs> yeah, but but on a serious note, I, I I because I didn't tell myself no in my head. Yeah, this, that this I, is not done. Yes, I approach my ministry the same way. I never told myself I can't lead worship because I was already leading worship in church. I'll be singing inside our. We used to meet somewhere in um, in Uniben, close to law faculty. People will be walking and stop when I'm leading worship because you could hear it mm. from the hall. You could hear the sound. Mm. The People sound of Zion. Stop. People will be in law <laughs> reading in the evening. Faculty of law and stop. Uniben wow. and stop when I'm ministering. So worship was already... People still stop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> but I, like I told this, I said... When Gay thought I had made that transition, I said, I actually wanted to do worship. The Lord told me no. Mm. Say, so don't go and write what you have not experienced. Don't open on. Psalm and just write. Mm. And the Lord is my shepherd. Uh, I have to actually. Psalm, Psalm is somebody, somebody's experience. Now, plagiarism with the do now. We'll just go there and just pick a scripture. No, you ought to have worked it to a certain extent. And oh, you have so a revelation. A revelation. It has to have on you hit you right so i was looking for a sound and i was looking for that sound of worship i didn't get it until years later i was inside tph i got most most high was the first ever sound and i still didn't even do it like church yeah. sound but it was anointed all the same you know so i didn't put that i was really stubborn about it don't don't mark me and say this guy does this i will shock you the Lord gave you a stubborn spirit. So I, 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 I'm sorry to put it that way. Yes, no, no, no. I, 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 I would use. No, he me, I, I think I think Nosa learned Nosa learned stubbornness by experience. Mm, Growing up in, mm, in it was formed by it. Yeah, well, those factors God allowed it. But, you but know, just but, so that you can be unique the way but, you are. But but seriously, Sha, I I didn't I didn't put that thing in my head. I told you the formula the Holy Spirit gave me. He said, if you can say it, you can sing it. So if you can say it you can sing it if you can, can sing it my, so that's why I, I the lord had me approach social issues issues of faith issues of love he said hey we're already singing hymns we're already worshiping we don't have anyone that addresses 
people and where i even learned it was during evangelism when you evangelize to people who are not of maybe your the the the, the kind of social class that you are used to you know, you, you, you preach it with correct English. You see someone wearing a suit and tie. If you want to preach to that person, you go straight to, you know, polished English. But this guy is a bike man. This guy is a conductor. This guy hear him. He just, ah, gay, kilo, kilo. If you want to talk to that person, you will not say, hi, how are you? I just want to preach the word. You understand? You, <laughs> you'll be like, how you doing? I also, kilo, kilo, how far? So it was there when I found it hard to preach to people like that. The Holy Spirit said, you cannot interpret in another language or you cannot translate in another language what you have not understood fully in the original language. So if I don't understand what I am saying in English, I can't translate it exactly in Yoruba. You, you know where a pastor is preaching and someone is, is translating, is, is interpreting there yeah. and he says something in Yoruba but then the pastor that understands Yoruba will now correct him and say no this is actually how to craft it in Yoruba. The same with the Holy Spirit convicted me said you have to understand what you're preaching. So the Lord so, gave you a language for the streets. Yes a language for the streets and then it became Converse and then how to make the scriptures and the word of God and your faith a conversational issue. Something you can, um, like when Paul was addressing Agrippa, something you can, mm. uh, it, that the layman or the, the guy is relatable, easily relatable. So that's what um, um, decided how I approached. How you started. Yes. So, all so them I, I said, let me pray write for about, you. Yes, always pray for you. Always let pray me write for about you. life in general from the lens of a christian without sounding churchy but yet is spiritual so that's always pray for you always on my mind for instance was god talking to was jesus, jesus talking, talking to his, to his disciples. disciples and i i broke down the scriptures people were always shocked but i just changed it to pigeon and i made it relatable Be one day i was preaching in church and the holy spirit told me jesus didn't speak english so it is not holier when you quote King James than when you quote NIV. Mm. He spoke Aramaic. No, so good. thou art is not <laughs> what Jesus said. More powerful, yes, and he didn't say it's not more powerful than you are. You mm. understand? So yeah, and it's not more powerful than you be. You be. You, be. <laughs> you understand? So, so that's what the right. Lord told me to break down all those limitations in my head. So I said, hey. As long as it's pleasing to you and now you did direct me, let's go. Let's do this. All right. All right. So I, mm -hmm. I come to David, yeah? And we'll still talk about, you know, the different platoons, like I used to call it. But you are known as a worship leader. Yeah. But you functioned with Afro guys or urban guys, you know, rooftop. You worked with them for years, played. Um, I, I, still, I still can't paint that picture in my head, Sha. But rooftop bookie, how was that experience and what did it? Is that why you are more under, understanding is of pit, yeah, pitying ours? Us. Is pitying us? Yeah. <laughs> why they talk us? I did now, nah, Baba. I did. Why they talk? You us? know how many yes. people they inspired I, I, by the I just early have steps. mercy on you. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's tell us why you are mercy to us. Because yeah. see, let's be mm -hmm. real, yeah. Most of the musicians in your platoon, yeah, that's temple music have a condescending oh. view of the guys in my space and that's, i said it's not because it's said but you feel that you usually no some are bold enough to say it okay most is just a state of mm. mind mm. Mm -hmm. right so you feel we're not spiritual enough or we're not whatever it is you feel you are different you're not you're not alone mm. right they're, they're, and it is getting better i think people are yeah your people are getting to realize our people our, peop our people are getting to realize that it's the same spirit mm. all right um but you have been like this for a while and i know that so i want to know why you're like that was it informed by the fact that you have worked closely with people within this platoon or is just an understanding that god gave you christian yeah so i i actually figured that um god doesn't waste experiences hmm. i mean everything that Jeez. you go through in life there there's something called called sovereign foundations hmm. that part of your life as as a human you don't have any 
say about it the kind of home you were born into the kind of parents you had you know whether you are rich or poor i mean none of that is your fault so whether you were born yoruba or hausa it's not your fault now god it's not your doing it's not your doing and there's nothing you can do about it right but god uses all of those things to eventually shape the minister into who he becomes you know that's part of the processes of god so when i began to work with these people I would ask myself several years ago, what am I doing here? I mean, I went to clubs. I, I've always been a conservative person, mm. you know, so I'm quiet. That's why right. even right now I went with school. This is just to make the color of the camera come. <laughs> All right. So, you know, so um, I mean, I, I find myself going to clubs sometimes with these people. And imagine on a team like with rooftop MCs where Kunle is on Kunle dreads. Is. <laughs> like really crazy. Um, clever is on another level. Uche Agba used to play the bass. Bass, yeah. I mean, and then Jolomi on drums. I mean, we're really making music, and it was crazy music. And then everybody on the team seems to be really crazy and mad. Then and you are just there, like. And <laughs> really, I was I was doing more than I was showing on my face because I used to do crazy stuff. Play all those uh, oh, really me. I played everything, you know. And stuff like that so I, I kept asking what am i doing here but i think that experience opened me up to different dimensions of god and i truly and in-depthly understood and appreciated them working with rooftop mcs um uh, Bu at the same time working with tosin matters i worked with tosin matters as well i worked with pastor it i worked as a love child before the love child <laughs> you know i mean i played up with with all of these people and I saw different dimensions of God. Now, there's a scripture that caught it for me. I think it's Luke 17. The Bible says that Jesus was addressing the people and he said, he said to them, you, John the Baptist came. Very modest. He wasn't doing anything. You people say, this, this guy's a, a demon. He's a, 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 a madman or something. The son of man came drinking and lounging and, you know. And chilling. And you, he said, why, why are you people like this? What do you want? You know, what exactly do you want? But that scripture shows us that you cannot box God. You, can't, you cannot say this is how ministry should be done or must be done. He expresses it whichever way he wants, however he wants, through whichever vessel and personalities, because that's the other thing that he doesn't... You know, I will ask you a very, very trick, trick, trick question. Who are you asking? You. <laughs> I mean, you're supposed God... to ask the question. Black Does... <laughs> okay, all of us. We are all of us. When you become born again and get into ministry, does God expect all of us to have the personality of Jesus Christ? No, sir, go first. <laughs> it's not directed at me. Does God expect all of us to have the personality of Jesus Christ? I... Yes. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Why, if you won't answer, answer now. Why did you put words in my yes. mouth? Yes. yes. I didn't say anything. No, I don't, I don't, yes. Yes. I don't necessarily think so. Yes, I think so. You think so? Yes. Personality. personality. The personality of Jesus. Yeah. Ah, that's, she, we are make, being made, we are supposed to be made disciples mm -hmm. of Jesus. Right. right. So a disciple will pick the personality of his. No, 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 so, no. So no the sorry, sorry. Talking about personality, did Peter have personality the personality of Jesus? Join. Personality. No join. personality, no join. That's why. Listen, this is the problem. This is why everybody from a ministry will be calling their hair. Everybody from a ministry will be wearing a particular type no, of suit. That's personality. That's, personality. that's your person. That's that, those are your personal okay, preferences. Okay, you now me. Like, those are your personal okay, preferences. Okay. Basically, so the the bone of contention here is what personality means. Is. Yes. Okay. So if you I say right that the humility, <laughs> the character of Jesus. That's character. That's yes. not personality. So personality yes. Like, well, we don't have any. They did talk. Bible did not talk about what he liked to do. He's he liked bread and fish. Man. I don't like fish. He's, he he a straightforward man. He does not. That's like character. No. That's character. Yeah, so personality <laughs> that's character now that's not okay, personality so, now. yeah so so you, you can see how how sensitive it is how, how touchy it is because many of us just i mean it's jesus christ you don't want to say anything that is not whatever but when you look at it clearly even start from the old testament elijah did not have that personality elijah we, when we describe the personality of elijah is elijah 
when you want to talk about certain fathers, for instance, Archbishop Bessin Daosa. He came in the spirit of Elijah. He came in the spirit of is Elijah you talk about. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't know what personality Apostle Paul carried and all of that. So what we are talking about here is not personality. I said this to say that God, God has made us unique for a reason. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he finds pleasure. He takes delight in using us as we are. Many of us in the body haven't appreciated this thing. Mm -hmm. So you have a... It's easy for me to use pastors, but it's the same thing with music ministry. Leave yeah. pastors. You know, use you, us. you have let's use our sis. You have um, uh, an anointed, you know, minister who 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 is not um, vain or in, in your opinion is not excess. He does a lot of that. You, pictures. that. you know, it is nice. It's good. There is no one that is wrong or right. When we talk about personalities, it's not wrong or right. It's not bad or good. It, it's just the variety that God uses and uses for His pleasure. Okay, so Gaze is a is a jumpy jumpy person. Gaze Baba, Gaze Baba. Gaze Baba. Don't leave out the Baba. Pastor, Minister Gaze. Never leave out the Baba. Minister Gaze Baba. That Baba is very proud. <laughs> Never leave out the Baba. It's prophetic. <laughs> so, so Gaze Baba is a jumpy jumpy person. I don't know how to jump or dance to save my life. I I can sit on piano and we'll be there for hours. That's mm -hmm. my personality. Right. You understand? Right. So we must begin to appreciate that part of ourselves mm -hmm. i think that's that a major worship, place i've seen where people feel they say it's not about it's not about jumping up and down mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. when they can't relate mm -hmm. so me for instance i don't know how to stay in one place pastor it as well i i with all jump respect around. and honor she's um, everywhere nicole um it's not nicole stephanie stephanie Great singer. singer she will take off her shoes and she'll be moving around when Bethel came to Nigeria in 2022, Bethel worship, when they came and that night that we led worship, one thing they told me was, we have not seen this kind of freedom before. Wow. I was moving around. That's how, but I've led worship somewhere where someone said sensationalism. It's not about hmm. sensationalism. Another person said, it's not about shouting. These are ministers. Eh? And I just smiled because before I would have wanted to explain myself, but I just said, Let me. it's God that is, off, that is receiving the offering. And this one that you're talking yeah. about is actually within worship leaders. That's like, it wait now. No, 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 no. So what you're saying is that a worship, a worship leader is trying to explain that when I'm leading worship, I lead like this, I lead like this. And disagreements did they about what it is. No, 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 not, not disagreement. But like, no, no, no. Like there's, there's still an issue of it is not about, it's not about. So, what shall we say then? Yeah, you need that look <laughs> like that. You are not sorry, don't worry. No, but, but you can yeah, tell yes. when, when, um, when someone is real, true and genuine, you know, I think you can. I you, think, well, you uh, don't, you, we don't know. No, because I'm saying this because you know well, you can tell you when know, someone is faking shark. When someone is 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 relying on, on all of those gimmicks. Hmm. If the person has not Let become an expert. Gimmick. It's clear. It's obvious. Nobody I mean we're, we're but, not but then apart from the gimmicks thing, you know, there are some people who feel ah, if I do like this, nobody will respond to me. But this minister came, did like this, and they responded. This minister yeah. sang this song, well, that's, and they responded. That's not how to, 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 to minister in the no, first place. But, but that's the thing. So yeah. a lot of people do not have the work with God that you have. A, a, or a lot of people are not looking up to the source. They're not getting their validation from the source. Mm. They get validation from the people that invite them. So then they are trying and to do things in the flesh. Yes, Clearly, that's what it is. Yes, but then what leads most people to want to do things is the response of the... So if I go to church to minister and I sing what God puts in my heart, do it one, two, three, four, five times, and I've seen where they just do like this, and another person comes, does something and they they are clapping for that thing they are jumping they are lying down on the floor the next time if i have not solidified my work with god my place in god you know i've not understood who i am my identity and i don't get my sense of um let me say validation from god himself mm -hmm. in his word i would want to adjust to get that level of acceptance from that place where they are supposed i expect that they should welcome me based on what god has given me mm. you get 
So if it was from outside, not in church, I would have said, okay, yeah, you know, it's easy to just say, but people can come and tell you that, or people can treat you in a way like you are not anointed because you did not move up. So my, say, say, sorry, sorry, did I'm, not, it, yeah. it, it, it shocked me actually that in the space of worship leaders no, 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 no. See, 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 but it's not a, it's not even about space yeah, i'm yeah. just telling you we're human eh? and and a lot yeah, of right. time because i feel like what you are saying should not now we happening. suppose they talk um say with the experience that, them. Uh, see my brother the people that go to church are humans and yeah. god is still working in them even you can be a deacon that god still has a long uh, right, fire. right, yeah, it has not even that is not open your, your matter in ACD chapter 2 and you know <laughs> your book, now, your full, you full, right, you understand, so right, okay, God is working in all. I think it was in 2022, the Adulam you did. So, David does this. What, what, what would I call it? A retreat, oh, a retreat Adulam. for a retreat for ministers, musicians, music leaders choir leaders you know and i mean i've attended what is it twice or thrice now i've attended twice physically once virtually mm. so there was one i went for the first one i went for was the one that you did at cane village okay, one of the, yeah. what church was that baptizing church the baptizing church at cane village i like calling places and times yes, and yeah, things. No, second episode that the edition that was the right. edition next one one small place no, so, no, that was the third oh that was the third oh, yeah. okay. so i went for that he was actually shocked to see me <laughs> that i came in fact many people they were shocked to see me yeah. i'm in fact let me shock you i went for a retreat last year in ibado it was at was it four square or government gospel faith mission government government the or job camp or job. the first one before the one they have on the or job. express the or job. and the, the people that came i remember i was driving when, when i left I, I, the third was three days i know eating by the way the third day after at the end of the retreat when everybody now breaks i'm driving back to lagos so there were people who came with me fellow ministers this was not a retreat for ministers though. it was a retreat for christians but they said it that almost is a this were they, they uh, what they call this not not days of elijah this was uh, yeah. old days um old time religion. this was like old time religion is it was organized by pk olawale do you know pk olawale mm. it's one of the top men in redeem he's in the he's in the north america north america now mm so i i heard about it and i went because i was yearning for some so i went so when we're coming back the the people were in the car with me were ministers someone was pastor in somewhere as a minister so there was one i was like he said geez I, I have a question that you know i saw you he didn't come the first day mm -hmm. he came the second day so he said he came in the morning as he came in the morning you saw me and he was first shocked, like, huh? Like, <laughs> yes, Baba day. So he was like, okay, maybe he came for something, he came to see someone. So by evening session, you know, good day. So when he came for the evening session and he saw me, he was like, wait, he's like, this guy is here for this retreat. Mm. So he has had the question in his heart all along. He just wants to ask me, like, like what prompted my coming because he was he, he was clear that i did not come as a minister mm. it's not like they invited me to perform or minister he be like say i that, no he be like say he was clear that i came for the retreat that what that he just he, he he's glad though he wasn't from a place of which will be fine for you it was just like so it, it surprised mean, him God, yeah, like what moment. brought what made me come mm and i i think I, I was struggling to answer because like i'm like you i know, won't take you, you answer know, say you, waiting bring me come you, 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 you know, know something, something you know, you know, you know something, something that's fundamental, fundamental. Right. Right. something that he gets to me not in a bad way something that i think about is how that it is only music you won't see someone that works in maybe a a, a firm an accounting firm big 
popular accounting firm, you know, investment banking or banking or law right. or medicine. At a retreat. At a retreat and be surprised. And there's a reason. Because you say, oh, these are Daniels. When, then you now see someone who God sent. I said something at... Adulam. Adulam. I said, no, not Adulam. There was another one. I said, let us not be the ones that shut down Daniel because he's not staying with us in the Hebrew quarters. Let's not be the ones that sh shut down the people God sent as an answer to us. You say, oh, we must sanitize the entertainment industry. My children, I need my children to watch TV and watch programs that will not corrupt them. Okay, let me send a Christian to go there. But the Christian, because that TV station appeals to every, it's open for everybody, the Christian has to speak a language that they'll understand. Do you go to your place of work and speak in tongues to your boss? That is, a, that is a, from another, maybe an atheist or does not believe what you believe. You don't. You still speak everyday language, but there's always a platform. There's always an opportunity for them to know what you carry on the inside. Yeah. So, it's not by religion. It's not by carrying Bible. It's by your performance. It's by your integrity. It's your character and your results, right? Now, it, why, when it comes to music, we just shut everything down and we begin to, to think that if you are um, not in the temple, if you are not singing in the temple or if you are not a worship person, then where do you think we will get that inspiration from? Where do you think? Mm -hmm. And I used to say something that the guy doing Afro beats, in, in fact, should pray more than the worship guy. So, it's, it's, uh, where you've gotten to, I have to I'll share this. Please drop so, it in, in the, the first episode, the, the last episode where I talked about why church music is limited, I centered it on Ezekiel 47. Okay. That talks about the river that flows after yeah. the temple. Yeah. But it does a lot of his healings on yeah. the outside. Yes. You can listen to how I shared it there. But mm. I between the last episode and this episode, I got increased revelation. Yeah. Now I, I say that that scripture, most times or every time that I've heard that scripture preached in church, we talk about it as realms in God. So <laughs> after a thousand cubits, is it cubits or feet? Yeah, I think cubits, a thousand yes, cubits okay. the river was up to my yeah. ankle yeah. after another thousand cubits knees. the river was up mm. to my knees after another thousand was up to my waist then after another thousand is a river that i had to swim in mm -hmm. and we're like there are levels in god in fact one my my uh, i can call my brother we're not close but it's my brother um lawrence oil has this song i, I just heard it last week where he said another one thousand cubits, mm, another, another another one another measure, one thousand another, another yeah, one thousand. Yeah. So he sang about the the mm -hmm. river, right? And I was I was explaining how I used the river to explain places and realms of expression for Christian creatives, saying some of us will be in the temple. The river flows from the temple. The temple is the source right but it flows out right so it is the same river that is flowing in the temple that is outside the temple it is the same river that is 1000 cubits outside of the temple it is the same river that is 2000 cubits outside the temple the same river is 3000 cubits outside the mm -hmm. temple the same river is 4000 cubits outside the temple the same river but the person who is here is 4,000 cubits away from the temple. Wow. Wow. It's not inside the temple. That person you are talking about that is in the realm where the river is so large that he cannot, he has to mm -hmm. swim inside. Mm -hmm. Is 4,000 cubits away from the temple. Mm -hmm. So in fact, the person inside the temple is at the yeah. source of the beginning of the temple. Yeah. I, I went there to explain the revelation that I got. It, it, it's something that I, I said on the IG live I did with Badiali Aditi Shola. So the person but that is out the there, the person that is, is carrying out so there much has to carry so much yes. measure. Yes. Yeah. You have to have a, even it's a very deeper easy consecration. If I'm among, if I'm in church, very easy. I, once I do like, I'm, it's easy to switch and we are worshiping. Go and carry that your, your, your power go to 
a gathering. The day I heard Auntie Olufomi sang sings at the shrine, the Femi Kuti shrine. She leads worship there. I, like that I was like Kuti Lord shrine. Jesus. <laughs> many people make that mistake. Yeah. I was like Lord Jesus. This is it. I was talking to one boss that used to own um, a studio that was just for worship, and I was like, hey, I, it was like man, anywhere God tells him to go. If God tells him to go to to show me to be a cultist if god tells god me to go. to go yes but the thing is most of us will tell god don't send me because that place you know i i, I used to also have this oh they will corrupt you fine you, you have to be careful but then at some point you have to be your beam has to be powerful enough that it is the one pushing darkness away your beam has to be powerful enough we ought to get to that place where we are walking in such power that anyway because you still need to draw so how i interpret that is that you are the temple of the holy spirit and then there is the spirit of you said out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water yeah. and paul said do not be drunk with wine when it's excess but be filled with it so do you already have the spirit but said be filled you understand to, to be drunk you have to keep drinking so there's a measure and then you pull more you're in fellowship with god you need that for your ma marriage you need that for mm. being a father I didn't say you need that for every aspect of your life and then you also need that for outside you know i didn't even understand this one of our brothers came to me years ago and said he wanted to quit this gospel thing he wanted to go into secular music and because i know him mm. man I'm, I'm i've never said this like i went on it fast Hmm. I knelt and I said, God, delete that thing from his head. Hmm. Because it's someone that I know that, I mean, he, he was, he's not standing strong here. This one that you are leading, you are doing in church, you are still not standing strong. You want to go out there. I pray. I said, God I has not sent heart, you. I said, God, take it away from his mind. I used to say it that, man, because when I, 2009, <laughs> 2009, when I was recording my stuff, at the beginning i said I, it just dawned on me because i saw how easily it, it, it was for me to be sucked in because who the people i was working with they were not particularly christian yeah. like strong christians yeah. and i saw how easy and i said oh now we even need grace pass when you shoot an arrow into your target it is the arrowhead that enters the shaft does not fully enter the shaft <laughs> is for guidance right it's to maintain the trajectory. You can't just throw the dart at the target like that. Now, the thing is, a lot of those who are not going in, they are the shaft that should help with direction. The, the people, okay, it's like the people in, in the Jewish quarters in Babylon saying, look at those four Hebrew boys eating, eating. They didn't know what was going on. No. But just imagine they were criticizing. Look at those guys that says they are Hebrews eating with Bab I'm sure Daniel is inside there sleeping up and down. Have you gone on your knees to say these people that you have sent out there? Because a lot of what we do Yes, there's the place of encouraging one another. A lot of what we do, the prophetic, the revival, is for... But what about the person that God sends into the darkness? You understand? So, I, 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 I decided to always humble myself when I don't understand the way I check to see if it is God. Uh, you know how is this thing well, you don't judge you shouldn't you don't judge you, you cannot, don't judge you, you, can't you are not god. god you don't you, you can't box how god works he is he is the, if i was going to judge god by how i think god should be rahab should not be in the ancestry of jesus she was a harlot from jericho she was, she was a jericho jewish harlot you, you understand she was a jericho <laughs> you get so and the interesting thing is we haven't gotten into like structure we never start <laughs> the podcast this was we have this worship to wrap up i, I want in a minute mm. like try mm. Mm. if you <laughs> can change you something yes in how the entire scope of christian music and art is done right now in the body of christ what one thing would you change i would just say walk in absolute love when you walk in absolute love you don't see people based on where you think they are now even if they were 
where you think they are you still don't see them based on where they are at that moment you see them based on where god can take them but if you think even deeper you may find out that you are wrong about where you think they are right yeah so, so let's absolutely. yes a love walk will allow us to um um to embrace the whole family of god the embrace a, a move of god as different from you understand and not stifle before i used to say the kingdom is suffering from or is the kingdom is being held back by religion i, I used to say kingdom is suffering from religion you know so let us look beyond where we the box we've created for god right you know and good. begin to see people in that light good yeah. and walk in absolute love yes mm. um no, no no that's not your question <laughs> I know you're saying, no, that question that's not your question um so i explained <laughs> the you know the christian army and the different platoons and different places that we can play based on um the analogy of concentric circles the the house the garden the field and the forest you understand what that means yeah. right you are in the house by the grace of god right i understand and i've said i mean the garden and field mm. Mm. let's pause with forest mm. you are in the house but you've worked with people who have gone as far as forest right because i think rooftop played in forest yeah area. so you have experienced that side with others and you are in the house what would you say to those of us who are outside the temple or whose place of function we're not outside the temple outside. we are all in the temple yeah. but yeah. our place of function is outside the temple or predominantly outside the temple what would you say to us uh well what i would really say is um know what you are doing it's i'll put it clearly to a anyone ministry is not what you think you can do yep it is what god has called you to do if I have to say that again, you know, so people judge, you know, based on, oh, I have the skill, I have this ability, you know, we can do it. And then they begin to put one and two together. It's a very, very dangerous place to be. You can't do that. That's not how to work with God. You know, a quick example is with David. David wanted to build God a temple. It was his design. It was, it was a legit uh, um, uh, noble desire. But God said, no, 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 I don't want you to do it. Your son would do it. You know, and David submitted to that, even though he had the moral rights, the financial capacity, the as king, everything to do it. So you see, mm -hmm. this whole thought about going into the world, going sometimes when people hear this, they, they just begin to think that, you know what, because subtly or subconsciously, because they, 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 they are not thriving within the church, you know, or they feel that they, they can do what this person is doing, they just call themselves to that right, place. They call themselves. So it's 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 dangerous for you to to call yourself to anything. You must understand that whether you are in the forest or whether you're in the temple, you are working for God and you get your matching orders from him. Thank you very much. Um yeah. I hope this has blessed you. This is Black Flame with Gaze Baba. See you on the next episode. It's Gaze Baba.